Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and in today's video, we are going to talk about how to calculate your waist to hip ratio. So let's get started. So one of the biggest requests I get all the time is how to reduce belly fat. Now, abdominal obesity is crudely measured by the waist measurement, and it tends to be a sign of the accumulation of visceral fat. According to a 2013 study in the Archives of Medical Science, visceral fat is composed of biologically active fat cells that actually secrete hormones and inflammatory molecules. These hormones actually disrupt your body's natural patterns for processing dietary fats as well as carbohydrates. Concentrated fat in the torso is the number one way to measure visceral fat. And the thing is, you guys, visceral fat can be measured by MRI, it can be measured by a CT scan, but that's very costly, it's very timely. The best way to get a gauge of whether or not you are at risk for having visceral fat is to do a tape measure around the smallest part of your waist. Now for women, if that value is over 35 inches and for men, if that value is over 40 inches, it does put you at risk for having visceral fat, which again, we know is a biologically active organ that secretes hormones. So another helpful measurement, which is actually utilized by the World Health Organization, is the waist to hip ratio. And this is a very good gauge of visceral adiposity. In order to calculate your waist to hip ratio, you wanna take a tape measure around the smallest part of your waist. Now this is going to be a little bit higher than the navel for most folks, but it's gonna vary person to person depending on the length of your torso. So you wanna take a tape measure, measure the smallest part of your waist, and you wanna divide that number by the largest part of your hips. Now for a frame of reference, for anatomical WHR or waist to hip ratio, somebody like a Halle Berry has a waist to hip ratio of 0.7. Now, the reason why this value is important is because anything over the value of one shows that you are at risk for having a higher amount of visceral fat in your torso. You also wanna keep in mind that the closer this value is to one, the higher your health risk is. So for instance, if your waist is the same exact size as your hips and you divide them by one another, you're going to have a waist to hip ratio of one. Now in this chart here, you guys can clearly see, and this is outlined in more depth in my book where I explain it in my upcoming book, Unlock Your Macro Type, the health risk level is related to waist to hip ratios in men and women. And you can see here in this chart, which I have provided for you guys, you have a low health risk for women if your waist to hip ratio is under 0.8 for men if that value is under 0.9 your health risk is moderate if you're between 0.8 and 0.85 for women moderate for men is 0.9 to 0.95 and you're at a high health risk if you are greater than 0.85 and if you are greater than 0.95. So what I'd like you guys to do is in the comment section, I would like you to comment what your waist to hip ratio is because based off of this value, it is greatly going to impact how your body processes dietary fats as well as dietary carbohydrates. And this is an important factor when figuring out what your macro type is, which I talk about in depth in my upcoming book, Unlock Your Macro Type. It is now available for pre-order. You can order it anywhere books are sold, Amazon, Target, Barnes & Noble. It's available in audiobook, ebook, and while supplies last, there is a free gift available for those who pre-order. So link below and don't forget to comment your waist to hip ratio. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.